All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got this Watts inch and a half uh, 007 M2 QT double check valve. This device right here has two valves that prevent reverse flow. So our flow is coming in from the street through the meter up across the backflow prevention device and to the building. There's a check valve here and there's a check valve here. Its purpose is to let water travel only in one direction, and that's from inlet to outlet. It'll never allow, unless there's a failure, water to travel from outlet to inlet. What makes this different than a reduced pressure zone, commonly known as an RPZ, is that a double check valve does not have a relief valve to discharge that reverse flow out of the valve. A double check valve is more situated for a residential building or light commercial such as an office uh, where there's no hazard that needs to be discharged out of a relief. Today we're going to perform an annual test. This valve was installed in May of 2023. It is now May 22nd of 2024 and it's quite simple with the Watts TK9A um, backflow valve uh, testing device. Okay. So stick around, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to do this. Step one, we need to determine direction of flow. Sometimes there's an arrow indicative on the valve, like it is right there. In this case, we're coming from the bottom and going up to the top. So once we've determined direction of flow, we need to isolate the valve from the building, and we're gonna do that by closing shutoff valve number two. just like that. Next, we're gonna blow off test ports two, three, and four. I'm gonna slowly do this. There's no debris in there, but just to show you what it's like, a little bit of water out of there, a little bit of water out of there, and a little bit of water out of there. Test port number one, two, three, and four. Since this device is missing test port adapters, I'm taking the liberty to add test port adapters to test ports number three and four. That way they'll be ready for testing. Next, we're gonna take our high pressure hose and connect it to test port number three. We're gonna make sure all the valves are closed on our TK9A. Okay. And next, we're going to open test port number three. We do have a little bit of discharge there on our adapter. See if we can tighten that up a little bit. Still got some discharge there. May need to put some more Teflon tape on that. But, okay, better. Next, we're going to bleed out air from A and B. We'll make sure I try to get the air bucket and we're gonna open B, bleeding the air out of it. There we go. Next, we're gonna close shutoff valve number one. Needle should stay pegged on the high side. We're now gonna open B until our needle drops to two PSID. Oh, too much, try again. Okay. Right at, right at two. And next we're gonna open test port number two, testing check valve number one. And the needle should not drop below one PSI ID. In this case, it barely moved a hair under two PSI and check valve number one passes. Next we're gonna test test port, um, sorry. Next we're gonna test check valve number two. I'm removing the hose, high pressure hose from test port number three and connecting it to test port number four. I am gonna close test ports number two and test ports number three. I'm gonna recharge the valve. We're gonna open up A and B after opening <laughs> test port number four. 
We're going to bleed the air out of that hose. Good. We're going to close shutoff valve number one. We're going to drop this to one PSI day. Bingo. Stay steady at two PSI D. We're gonna open test port number three. And the needle should not drop below one PSI D. And if you notice it dropped to almost one and a half PSI D. Check valve number two passes and this device is good to go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the test, uh, which documents the steps and procedures to test a double check valve. It doesn't matter if it's a half inch or a six inch. Uh, it's still the exact same test procedures. If you're in the Long Island, New York City metropolitan area and you need your backflow device tested, give me a call, 516-348-6300. You can also go online at pipedoc.net. At the bottom of that main page, you'll see a little link that says book online. Click that link, select the appropriate trip charge for your area for under plumbing, and uh, we'll be glad to help you out. Prices start at 225. Thank you so much for watching. Be well, God bless, stay safe.